Here's more paper theater. This amazing 3D art brings out the craftsman in you and um, they're a blast. This is the packaging that they come in. There's a lot of, a lot of parts per se, but uh, you're able to just kind of cut your way out of it and glue them together. And you have these amazing little 3D displays. They're yeah, I, lo I love them with a little King DDD little roller coaster there. There's just so much detail on them. Uh, and it's great to see the different sizes of paper theater. They also sell uh, acrylic protection if you want to put your uh, paper theater in something that will protect it forever. Uh, InSky makes amazing puzzles, but here's stuff from their Kirby line. Uh, they make our crystal puzzles. They also make, you know, your more traditional puzzles, uh, but they are so much fun to put together and uh, the artwork is just next level. We also have these Kirby dioramas. Uh, these sort of build like a fun little amusement park. You got the teeter totter, you got a swing. Uh, then there's also a tree here somewhere, yeah. I feel like we're missing the true death machine of the playground, right. the, the merry-go-round. <laughs> sure. always. It was getting like the biggest kid to like spin you around. Want to talk about Kirby friends? Well, yeah, we got Kirby this. friends here. Uh, these are amazing from Shokugan. Uh, you know, all, all Smash Brothers fans will recognize the Link Kirby as uh, when you play as Link and then Kirby eats you and he gets your powers. Uh, but you can see the line. You got a cute little sleeping Kirby. You got Kirby on a star. Uh, and these are really cool because the, these are not blind. Uh, the box will tell you exactly what you're gonna get. So if you have a favorite variation of Kirby, uh, you can go ahead and you can get it. You can get the one with the tomato so you can refill your health and all that stuff. This is a fun little thing to where it's a stacking Kirby. Uh, it comes with 10 Kirbys to see how many you can stack on top of each other. I think Justin's record is four. <laughs> yeah, and it's failing. You can see that there's someone on the box who did a really remarkable job of getting them all up in the air. Or just really good at Photoshop. Yeah, I can't. I can't imagine that happened. <laughs> uh, yeah. I did uh, pretty good yesterday. I think I got five yesterday. That's actually. like three more than I could probably yeah. do. But these are incredible. These are a lot of fun. Uh, talking about Studio Ghibli, uh, we are the official distributor of uh, Studio Ghibli merchandise uh, in North America. Uh, what's great about our Ghibli lines is that it goes across so many different categories. So right here, I have a crystal, uh, one of the art crystal puzzles. Uh, I've got no face here. What's cool about these is they're, they're semi-translucent acrylic pieces for the puzzles. So when you go up to a light source, it almost creates like a stained glass window effect. Uh, this is of course one of our smaller ones, but they do get quite large. Uh, they're a lot of fun to put together as a puzzle, but if you can get them in a window or something like that, it's like having a Studio Ghibli stained glass window. You know, we have the Heen Duster from House Moving Castle, you know, clean your keyboard, you know, scrubba, 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 whatever you want to do. Cinderella could have- Your dirty ruined, friends. You know, your dirty friends. <laughs> um, we also have clocks, you know, here we can see, of course, Gigi, uh, we have we have the robots. We have a frying pan. Justin loves the frying pan. It's the council for frying pan. Let me turn it upside down so you can actually see the indentation. It's adorable. Yeah, making your eggs and your pancakes in the morning. You got to make breakfast. Might as well make it right in style. <laughs> and what's special about this cup, Dave? And when you put some, when you put hot liquid in it, uh, the suit sprites change. What? It's magic. It is magic. It's, it's pretty cool. It's a color changing mug. Uh, so when you put a hot liquid in there, it's going to do one thing. When you have cold liquid in it, it'll have the soot sprites carrying their soot. I also have a little sauce tray, oh. which is great. But it's cool. It's got the indentation of no face in there. Uh, it's got a, a lot of detail in it. Um, as soon as you put the sauce in, especially, it'll, it'll really, really capture that. Kind of like when you're painting a model kit or something like that and you panel line it, uh, it'll just show up so nice. And we have these really cool towels. Uh, they fold up inside the uh, the character, so in this case Totoro, and then it comes down to this a little amazing microclock. How cool is that? Yeah. And then more suit sprites and a white Totoro. How oh, no. So cool. Uh, and then of course we have so much of the Kirby, the stacking Kirby's. We have Totoro and we have Gigi the cat. Uh, and so these are just real fun little figures you can put on your desk and stuff like that. Just to really, really accentuate, you know, show your love for Studio Ghibli. Um, there's so, so few kind of official uh, licensed products out there, uh, you will know you want to make sure you get the official products because they are, of course, better quality. And uh, then you are supporting the studio directly as opposed to getting a knockoff and supporting something else. There you go. If you uh, like to do those little afternoon siestas, uh, you can park on this amazing Totoro. Look how soft and gentle this is. It is. Sean uses this every single day. Not to take naps, of course, but uh, for just lumbar support. <laughs> he just likes to hide from us. Right. So we walk up behind him and we can't see his there. All we see is the outline of Totoro's big sure. ears. This was a really popular item. In fact, we sold out. We'll have more in the fall.